If you have the Bible, look at uh, Isaiah chapter 5. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20 to 25. Book of Isaiah chapter 5. Yeah, book of Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. Woo to those who call evil good and good evil, who put darkness for light and light for darkness, who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter, who to those who are wise in their own eyes and clever in their own sight, who to those who are heroes uh, at drinking and wine, and then champions and mixing drinks, who acquit the guilty for bribe, but deny justice to the innocent. Therefore, as the tongues of fire lick up too, as the dry grass sink down in the flames, so their loot will decay, and their flowers blow away like dust. For they have rejected the law of the Lord Almighty, and surprised, uh, surpra uh, surprised the word of the Holy One of Israel. Therefore, the Lord's anger burned against His people; His hand is raised and uh, struck them down. The mountains shake, and the dead bodies are like refuse in the street. Yet for all this, his anger is not turned away. His hand is still upraised. Do you understand this uh, Isaiah chapter 5? Isaiah chapter 5 is a very powerful scripture for that time, but not only on that time and in the end time. In the last day, do you know what, what you're going to have from um, um, those who call evil good? Evil is evil, but there is evil good and good evil. It's terrible, terrible. Have you seen this happening? You can see all of the world now. All of the world. All of the world, those who calls evil good, good evil. It's terrible. And then they put darkness for light. Darkness is light. The darkness is darkness. But darkness put light. The light for darkness. Do you understand? And then bitter for sweet. Sweet for bitter. Do you know? Sweet bitter is opposite. Darkness light opposite. And evil good is opposite. They do evil ways. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. This is the end of the world end of the world of people they do like this but what shall we do in the last day God will pay God will pay he said revenge is mine he will revenge he will pay back but we have to wake up in the last day last year November yeah? last year November what was happening I was preaching book of Romans if you look at the book of Romans, chapter 1. Do you know the book of Romans, the Bible speaks about the homosexual. Homosexual is a sin. Do you understand what was happening? People against the nature of God. Romans chapter 1, verse 24. Therefore God gave them over in the sinful desire of their heart to sexual impurity for De uh, degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and, uh, and served the created things rather than the Creator who is forever. Praise Amen. Do you understand? These people, they have the sinful lust they have. And do you know what chapter verse 26? Because of this, God gave them over to shameful, shameful lust. And even their women exchange their natural relation for natural ones. In the same way, the man also 
abundant natural relations with the woman and were in, uh, inflamed with the lust for one another. Men commit an uh, indecent uh, act with another man and received in themselves the due penalty for their uh, perversion. It's terrible. Man loves man, woman loves woman. They commit the adultery. Sexual immorality. The you know, most terrible sexual immorality is a lesbian and gay. Man loves man, woman loves woman. Yeah, the Bible say it's a sin. In Old Testament, the, of course, thief steal is a sin. Of course, a murder is a murdering is a sin. Of course, uh, you know, not telling the truth is a sin. Yeah, commit other three sins, many sins, according to the book of the you know, Exodus chapter twenty about the Ten Commandments. People, they commit the sins. But if you look at the same chapter, Romans chapter one, verse thirty-two. All through they know God's righteousness decree. People they know the world is God's righteousness. Yeah, they know. Though you such things uh, dis deserve dis uh, deserve the death. They do not. They not only continue to do. They very things, but also approve of those who practice them. What does it mean approve? What does it mean approve? Yeah. Encourage. They encourage. Encourage you for homosexual more. The government encourage the LGBTQ. Do you understand? It's terrible. Last year, January, just over one year, I was preaching. You know, normally I preach according to scripture. It's not my word. It's my word or the word of God. Word of God. Unfortunately, why the church lost the power and authority? Because they don't preach the word of God. There's no word of a man. When I was preaching, on that Sunday service, 15, um, 15 newcomers came on that day. One, five, 15. And then I just normally, I'm preaching all the times. But five of them so angry when I say homosexual is a sin. Ah, five of them stood up and looked at me with the strange eyes, angry and left. And then report to the police. And I get a phone call, and then they report to the police, and then it's like a, look at a court case. So I called my solicitors. My solicitors told me very clearly: in your pulpit, in your church, you preaching according to the word of God, you will win. They told me you won. They lose. They are willing to contact the BBC, the media. Can you imagine in our pulpit, in our church, I preach the word of God? How many of you happy about that? Yeah, when you preach the word of God, you know we have to preach the word of God. Don't compromise in the last day. Who to those who call evil good, and good evil, evil is evil, good is good. But unfortunately, people say. Oh, evil, good, good, evil, no. Terrible. Yeah, terrible. I need to tell the truth. Because I tell the truth, I had a lot of persecution. Anybody know who is the, the author of the Pilgrim Pro Progress? John Bunyan. Progress. John Bunyan. John Bunyan. Where he wrote the, the most powerful book, Pilgrim Progress, where? Prison. In prison. He, did he commit the sins? No. He telling the truth. He get the persecution, and he end up in prison. But most powerful book, I think, is the second best selling book in the in the in the world is after the Bible is the Pilgrim Progress by John Bunyan. John Bunyan, he get the persecution. Because he's telling the truth. When you're telling the truth, make sure you know Satan not very happy with you. Do you know that? But don't compromise with the word. Yeah. Do you know what was happening? Isaiah chapter five, verse twenty. Woo to those who call evil good and good evil. It's terrible. Look at the verse twenty five, Isaiah 
5 verse 25. Therefore, therefore means conclude. Therefore, the Lord's anger burned against his people. And his hand is raised and then they strike them down. Do you understand? God is almighty. He is the almighty God. We have to <coughs> not compromise with the sin, with the wicked. You never call the evil good and evil, uh, good evil. Never, never say that, please. Stop it in the last two days. Look at the Proverbs chapter 17, verse, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13. Book of Proverbs chapter 17, verse 13 say, If a man pays back evil for good, evil will never leave his house. Do you understand? If a man pays back evil for good, never ever pay back evil for good, never. Evil will never leave his house. Evil always remain. Don't pay evil for good. Please, stop it. You know, by the grace of God, I helped us so many people. By the grace of not by my own power, by God's grace and mercy. And I helped us so many homeless, drug addicts, alcoholic, prostitutes, all these people. By the grace of God, not my own power. Not, not to do. And then, <clears throat> I know the one guy, he has got two bedroom flat, and he told me, Pastor Paul, I bought this ex-council flat and then I bought it and then you can stay there. And it's so thank you. Of course I pay, I think, I don't know, I pay over 1,200 pounds for two bedroom flat. I and my wife are staying there in Stockwell. Do you know Stockwell? Mm -hmm. Near the Brookston. One day, <laughs> guess what happened? When we finished the Sunday service, when they come back to home, do you know what happened? My wife's lipstick and then uh, my wife's all the, you know, lotion and hand cream and on the street. All my things outside of the house. Without the permission, he removed everything outside. He claimed that he's a born again. He was an evangelist in Brixton area. I was shocked. I told him, what happened? How can you remove all my things outside of the house without telling me? On Sunday, on that day, Sunday evening, when I arrived at my home, I was shocked. My wife cried because all her stuff is out on the street. Then I had so many hardships, difficulties in London. I say to him, brother, what, should, what happened? How can you, you know, pay? He pay, you know, how he pay evil for good. I support him for him, bless him, but he pay evil for good. Terrible, terrible. Actually, when I called the police, police said this is a civil matter, no criminal matter, sorry. And I ask you, why you do like this? And you know what he said? He was lying in the beginning. He never bought the flat. <laughs> that is, is a cause of flat. And uh, he thought I and my wife take over that flat. I never knew. Do you understand? And he kicked out to me. When he kicked out to me, and uh, oh Lord, where should I go? It looked like I become homeless on Sunday evening after 6 p.m. And then I looking for another place I call and my friend has three bedroom house near the stock where I move into there. Move the washing machine fridge from six PM to three in the morning next to day. It's terrible, terrible. All our over twenty our congregation come and help me to move. Can you imagine according to the Proverbs chapter seventeen what the Bible says? He pay what? He pays back evil for good. Terrible. Therefore, the evil will remain in his life. He is a well-known preacher on the street in Brixton area. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. 
what was happening. And then actually I pay for one month advance, one month deposit. He should pay me over two thousand six hundred pounds, something like that. I asked him, Can you pay that to me? He never want to pay that. Wicked, evil. I left. And do you know what happened? Then then as a word of things, always like the come and go, like a wave of sea. Then I fix my eyes on Jesus. I no longer live, but Christ lives in, lives in me. One day, after happening, around the two, three weeks later, I was preaching in front of KFC. Do you know KFC went there last Saturday in Brixton? When I was preaching, I saw him. Do you know what he was, what he did? He came to me, he shouting he against the word of God. I was shocked. He used to preaching in Brixton. But he against the word of God. Do you know what I, I stop? I warning him. Brother, I warning you now. If you're against me, it's okay. You against the word of God, you are in danger. And I said, I spoke to him very clearly. He was a 47 years old, young man, strong man, very strong. Powerful man. 47. Young man, when I say to him, you are in danger, be careful. Within six months, he died. Do you know how he died? He painted on the wall, and the strong smell is like the asthma. He died in the daytime. We used to have the prayer meeting, we call it Brixton 2000. All the 40, 50 pastors are gathering together, prayed together. Every pastor knows that that man kicking out me from two bedroom flat in Stockwell. Everybody knows. Everybody knows. And then when he died suddenly, within six months, people died shocked in Brixton area. All the pastors. Because he's quite a well known preacher and evangelist in Brixton. Do you know the Ruach? Ruach? Ruach is over John Francis. He's a pastor. John Francis is a pastor of Ruach Church in Brixton. Or they have another church in uh, Kilburn. And then that that church is so big, and and then um, no pastor John Francis, a lot of pastors are gathering together to to have a funeral service for him. Guess what happened? Around the fifty past pastors gathering together, selected three pastors to leading the funeral service. Who are the three among the three? I'm the one. <laughs> I said no, no for me. Choose another man. But they begging me, please, Pastor Paul, you have to conduct a funeral service. And I was praying to God. God said, do it. No way. Over 700 people attended the, the uh, funeral service. And then when this man's uh, children coming, I knew them. I asked the Lord, shall I speak to them about the, the, what was happening before he died? God spoke to me, don't speak time to encourage him. When his children came, they knew, they knew about the, what was happening. His father, their father kicking out to me. Everybody know, their family knows. They came to me, do you know what they say, the children? First of all, we heard about that. We, we apologize. Please forgive our father what he did before he died. I say to them very clearly, I already forgive them. No problem. I just encourage them and support him for that. You see, in the last day, who to those who call evil good and good evil, who, when judgment of the Lord come, wrath of the Lord come, we have to be careful in the last day. In the last day, there's no middle ground. Do you understand? Good or evil, not in the middle. Black and white, not in the middle. Heaven and hell. Sweet or bitter, or light and darkness, no middle, no middle. When the, when the uh, turn on the light, the darkness gone away instantly. Do you know that? There was no middle ground. Therefore, in the last day, we have to be careful. Today, we meditate the book of the judges. Why this tribe, Benjamin tribe, damaged? They lost over 68,000 people died, yeah? 100. 
These 68,100 people died because of these wicked people. When the wicked people yeah, do some strange things, they should be telling the truth for wicked people. They try to cover up. They try to hide it. That's the main problem. Can you go back to the Judges? Judges chapter 19 and 22. <clears throat> Judges chapter 19 and 22 say, While they were enjoying themselves, some of the wicked men of the city surrounded the house and pondering on the door, and they shouted to the old man and who owned the house, Bring out the man who came to your house so we can have sex with him. Who are they? They are what? Homosexuals. <laughs> Homosexual. <clears throat> Do you understand? Men go inside the visitors in a traveler, visit the old man's house. They bang the door. Bring him. You want to sex with him. <clears throat> Terrible. Do you remember when the two angels went to Sodom and Gomorrah to destroy the Sodom and Gomorrah? And they went to Lost House. And people knocked the door. What they say? <clears throat> Bring them this man, angels are men, yeah? no female men, and bring them out and we want to sex with them. Can you imagine? Homosexual want to sex with what? Angels. <laughs> and what Lord said, I have the two virgins, never know, man, I can send you, I can give you. Even Lord is already damaged. How can he give his you know, virgin two daughters to these homosexual people? Terrible. <clears throat> These people, they are so wicked. Did you understand? What happened? The visitor come with the uh, uh, concubine, the, 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 the woman. And look at the verse 25. Judges chapter 19, 25. But the man would not listen to him. So the man took his concubine. Concubine and sent her outside to them and they left her. And abuse her throughout the night. At the dawn, they let her go. Can you imagine? This wicked people, sex with this uh, innocent woman, virgin, all night late. Evil, evil. And do you know what they happened? At daybreak, the woman went back to the house, uh, that woman who lived by this wicked people, where her master was staying fell down at the door and lay there until uh, daybreak, at daylight. When her master got up in the morning and opened the door of the house and stepped out and continued to on his way, there lay his concubine for a pallet in the doorways of the house with her hand uh, on the threshold. He said to her, get up, let's go. But there was no answer. What happened? Died already. Can you imagine? She arrived at her master's house. She died. Terribly. Then the man put her on his donkey and set out for her home. When he reached the home, he took a knife and cut up his uh, concubine, limb by limb, into twelve parts and sent them into all the area of Israel, 12 tribes of Israel, they received a part of the body of that woman. And watch out from verse 30. Everyone who saw it say, such a thing has never been seen or done, not since the day of the Israelite come up out of Egypt. Think about it. Consider it. Tell us what to do. Do you understand? They never seen these wicked things. And then, what happened? Look at the verse 1 and 2. Judges chapter 20, verse 1 and 2. Then all the Israelites, from Dan to Beersheba, and from the land of uh, Gilead, came out as one man. Everybody angry, they moving and act as one man. Assembled before the Lord in Mizpah. And the leaders of all the people of the tribe of Israel 
and then took the place in the assembly of the people of God for 400,000 soldiers armed with a sword. How many soldiers? 400,000 soldiers willing to destroy the city, the wicked city. And then the city's name of the city is uh, uh, Giva. Giva. Look at verse 11, chapter 20, verse 11. Book of Judges, chapter 20, verse 11. So all the men of Israel got together and united as one man against the city. It's a very good attitude. They're working together as one man. When they saw the wicked things, they're willing to against. They're willing to tell the truth. That is totally wrong. How these wicked men raped the woman all night. It is so evil. And what was happening? Look. Verse 12, the tribe of Israel sent a man throughout the tribe of Benjamin, saying, What about uh, this awful crime that was uh, con committed among you? Because that city yeah, is given is, uh, in, the, in, the, in the tribe of Benjamin. Do you understand? And look, now surrender those wicked men of uh, Giva, so that we may put them to death and push the evil from Israel. Uh, but the Benjamin's tribes would not listen to their <laughs> fellow Israelis. This is the main problem. As I told you earlier, who calls evil good, good evil? They are the who. These Benjamin tribes, they say, it's okay. It's not okay. All the 11 tribes of Israel, they say, they're so wicked. We're going to destroy, this, uh, uh, kill these uh, wicked people. We don't know how many, maybe five or ten, uh, we don't know. But the Bible didn't mention the numbers, but the wicked. They ask the <coughs> Benjamin tribes, give these wicked people, we're going we're gonna to put to that. But Benjamin tribes, no, no, we don't want to. <coughs> Do you understand? And then what was happening? Even Benjamin tribe, they knew this 400,000 Israel army among, from the 11 tribes. Do you know what they do? If it was 15, it was the Benjamin tribe mobilized 26,000 sold men from their towns. In addition to 700 chosen men from where? The city, the Giva. <laughs> do you understand? The wicked city gave us 700 special soldiers coming and 26,000 Benjamin soldiers working together to against them. How many? 400,000. 400, How wicked. You need to listen what the Bible says. This is a fact. This is a history. What was happening? Yeah? Over 3,000 years ago, what was happening in the land of Israel? People, they are so wicked. Do you understand? I think last year or two years ago, somebody who prayed in here, he sleep for a while in our church, and then before he came here, do you know what happened? He used a knife to kill somebody. Nobody knows. No police knows. He came here in our church. He repented for sins. Can you imagine? The murderer came to our church, and the Holy Spirit convinced him. And our brother, he took him to the police station, yeah? Do you know how many years he get a sentence? Mm -hmm. You don't know here. Yeah? Thanks be to God, spirit of the living God moving in here. And somebody telling the truth and willing to pay the price in here. It's good news. Amen? Mm -hmm. In here, the spirit of living God, somebody who committed the murder and killed somebody. Before he come to our church, three days ago, he killed someone by knife. But nobody knows. The Holy Spirit knew. And Holy Spirit convincing and telling the truth. Good news. Pay the price. But in, in these days, they don't want to pay the price. They want to run away. They will be trouble. But look, this is a very, very important. Do you know verse, uh, uh, Judges chapter 20? Judges chapter 20, verse 18. Israelite went up to the Bethel. What does it mean of Bethel? House of God. Bethel means house of God. 
and they inquired of God. It's good news. He said, you know, it's all right. They prayed to God. Lord, what should you do? Inquired of God. They said, who of us shall you go forth to fight against the Benjamin tribes? Benjamin tribes. The Lord replied, Judah shall go first. Do you know what I mean? God wants to punish the, these Benjamin tribes. Can you imagine? The Israelites pray to God, Lord, who will go on and attack the these Benjamin tribes first? Judah's, Judah tribe go and then destroy. And they pray again. Look at verse 23. Uh, actually, verse 21, Benjamin came out to give her and cut down the 22,000 Israelites on the battle that day. How many? Which tribes? Yeah? Benjamin came out of Giva and cut down the 22,000 Israelites on the uh, battle that day. Yeah, you that's tribe, yeah, 22,000, yeah, thank you. And then 23, the Israelites went up and swept, uh, wept before the law until evening. They inquired of the law. It's very good news. Is uh, inquiring of the law is asked a question before God. They say, shall you go up against the battle against the Benjamin, Benjamin tribes, our brothers? The Lord answered, go up against them. Can you see that? God said, go up against these Benjamin tribes. They are so wicked. And then, um, you know, verse 26, Judges chapter 20, verse 26, Then the Israelite, all the people went up and battled, and there they sat weeping and before the Lord. They passed that day until the evening, and presented burnt offering and fellowship offering to the Lord. And the Israelite inquiry of the Lord. In those uh, days, the Ark of the Covenant of God was there. They prayed to God. They are weeping. Why? Because the 11 tribes of Israel to destroy the Benjamin tribes is not very good news. That is why they cry and weeping. Do you know what the God say there? Verse 28. Shall you go against the battle uh, with the Benjamin, our brothers, uh, or not? The Lord uh, responded, Go up for tomorrow. I will give them into your hand. Can you see that? God say very clearly, I know though this Benjamin tribe how wicked. When they saw the wicked people in the in the Giva, they should surrender these people to the the you know, people of Israel and they punish them. But they say no, they don't listen. Do you understand? If you don't listen, what can I say? You will be trouble like these Benjamin tribes. What was happening? And do you know what was happening? Uh, verse 35, the Lord defeated Benjamin before Israel. Do you understand? The Lord God defeated Benjamin tribes before all 11 tribes. And on that day, Israelites uh, struck down how many? 25,100 Benjamin tribes. All army with sword, they died. And another place, if you look at the, uh, verse 40, when the uh, column of smoke began to rise, from the city, the Benjamin ties and turned and saw the smoke of the whole city going up into the sky. Then the men of Israel turned on them, and men of Benjamin were terrified, because they realized that disaster had come upon them. Too late, <laughs> too late. The city gave up, burned, destroyed, and the Benjamin, the tribes, damaged terribly. They saw the disaster with their own eyes. And verse 44, And 18,000 Benjamin is fair. All of them were well, uh, to fighters, special fighters, special to die. How many? 18,000. And look at verse 46. On that day, 25,000 Benjamin is uh, sword men fair. All of them are well to fighters. In total, how many? <laughs> Can you calculate? 68,000, 68,100, yeah? Is that where is the 5,000? Where is the 5,000? Where, where is, which verse is? Yeah, 40, 45. 45? Cut down the 5,000. Okay, okay, another 5,000, okay. 
I didn't see that. Okay, thank you. How many in total? Over 70,000, eh? Over 73,100. Can you imagine? Because of, if they surrender this, some wicked people to the Israelite, 73,100 people should not be killed. Same Jewish people, same Israelite, they kill each other, but especially Benjamin, the tribes are destroyed. Why I share these things? Because of, they should, they didn't say that wicked is wicked. Wicked is wicked. They call evil good, good evil. That is main problem. Do you understand? You are a watchman. What does my watchman's job? Anybody knows? Warning. Blew up the trump, uh, trumpet. Warning. I'm a watchman. I'm a watchman. For you guys, I am pastor. I saw some people, you know, a few days ago, even yesterday, I'm warning him. Brother, when I'm preaching, please don't watch the, your video on Sunday. Even when you come to Bible college, you do whatever he like. Please stop it. He come and then lead the Bible together with me. And please, if you turn off the, your mobile phone, you are able to join with me. Can you turn off the, your mobile phone? Or you can leave now. He said, I don't want to turn off the mobile phone. He left. I warning him. But he not received my advice. Another guy. I don't know, yes, uh, two days ago, yeah, two days ago or three days ago. No, but babe, and uh, whatever you have, uh, electric cigarette, give, give a two. Next day, two. <laughs> and uh, we check these bags, how many? Over 10, 11. Can you imagine, 21, babe, babe, come out from his pocket, and I know something's empty. Do you understand, when I'm warning him, yeah, I tell him the truth. When somebody not, you know, received the warning, seriously, neglect. No, no, not for me. He's not joking. They are the one to receive the punishment. They are the one. I ask you to some brothers, uh, can you fasting for your deliverance from addiction? You did, yeah? You totally delivered, yeah? From alcohol and cigarette, all this area. Good, good for you, brother. Good for you. We still fasting. Well done, brother, to supporting for my dear brother sisters. Do you understand? Fasting and pray is so powerful, very powerful. But some people in the last day, they are so wicked, so evil. What should we do for these evil people? Look at the Psalm 37. You know Psalm 37 about the evil people. <coughs> what should we do? <coughs> God say, this is the word of God, Psalm 37. <clears throat> Psalm 37. Do not fret because of evil men, or are envious of those who do long. For like the grass, they will soon wither. Like a green plant, they will soon die away. You see? It's a wicked man will, is gone. For you to trust in the Lord and do good, dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. This is your job. Look at the verse 9, Psalm 37, verse 9. For evil men will be what? Cut off. But those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. Will, will, will evil men cut off? I saw the evil man since I came to UK many, many times. I fixed my eyes on Jesus. Yeah. Look at the verse 17. For the power of the wicked will be what? Broken. But the Lord uphold the righteous. Wicked man. Broken. It's finished. Yeah. Look at the verse 20. The wicked will perish. The Lord's enemies will be like the beauty of the field. And they will vanish. Vanish like a smoke. Yeah. Verse 22, the Lord blessed will inherit the land, 
But those who curse us will be cut off. Will be cut off. Yeah. Look at verse 28. For the Lord loves the just, and will not forsake his faithful one. Can you say amen? The God is God of justice. He loves the justice. For the Lord loves the just, and will not forsaken his faithful ones. You are a faithful one, yeah? You will be not be shaken. Yeah. In the last day, look at verse 35. I have seen the wicked and the ruthless man flourishing like the green tree in the native soul, but he soon passed away and was no more. To I looked for him, he could not be found. Look like green and good, but in soon, soon. Can you say after me, soon? As always, soon, passed away, soon, cut off. What a wicked man. It's not my word, it's the word of God. Are you the one to belong to the wicked side or righteous side? Yeah, you have to follow the truth of gospel, not worldly way. Look at verse 38. But all sinners will be destroyed. But the future of the wicked will be what? Cut off. Cut off. What does it mean cut off? Just finish. Finish. Perish. Finish. Verse 40. The Lord helped them, the desires them. He delivered them from the, the wicked and saved them because they take refuge in him. In the last day, please make sure you overcome the evil with what? Good. Look at Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Romans chapter 12, verse 21. Do not overcome by evil, but overcome evil with what? Good. Yeah. Overcome evil with good. And look at the Matthew chapter 5. Matthew chapter 5 verse 43 Matthew 5 verse 43 you have heard that it was said love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I tell you love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you can you love your neighbor even can you love your enemy mm. enemy means yeah, somebody the human being who against you who hate you who upset you, who despise you, you can love your enemy. Our true enemy yeah, is only Satan, but your enemy is like a human being, your family, your brother, sister, your husband, your wife, children, and your friend, some of your colleague. Love your enemy. Don't hate them. Love your enemy and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be sons of your Father in heaven. He calls his son to rise on the evil and the good. You see, the sun rise and for evil and the good. He has sent rain on the righteous and unrighteous. Can you see that? Sun and rain for all of them. But if you love those who love you, what reward will you get? Are not even the tax collectors are doing that? Do you understand? Somebody love you, love them, it's easy. Somebody hate you, can you love them? Yeah? Can you say easy in Jesus' name? Amen. He's, I know, yes. Yeah. Take my yoke. My yoke is easy. Take my burden. My body is light. You no longer live, but Christ lives in you and easy. In Jesus' name. Amen. Easy. Not difficult, not hard. I know flesh, hard. I know human attitude, human mentality, human mind is almost impossible, but easy in Christ Jesus. Verse 47 says, If you greet only your brothers, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. You can see there are some enemies around you. What should we do? Bless them. First, do you know who are persecuted? Pray for them. And you can 
have a great victory in Jesus' name. Amen. God said, revenge is what? Mine. Revenge is mine. I will deal with that. Four people died since I came to UK. Four people died who are strongly against me, one by one. Four, these four of them, they died in six months. I don't need to fight with anybody. Why do I need to fight? Nothing. I don't have actually enemy. Do you understand? I'm just telling the truth. Even yesterday, that guy who left, he heard me, and she said, thank you, Pastor Paul. And he sent him a very good message by text message. He said, in short time, my spiritual life is grow, and, and he appreciate. It's a very good attitude. He can come anytime, actually. Do you understand? I don't hate him. I don't have any problem with him. If he changes his behavior, I welcome him. But I need, my job is I need to tell him the truth. I need to rebuke and correct and train him in righteousness. How many of you understand what I'm talking about tonight? Yeah? Please, make sure in the last day, stand up for the truth. How many of you stand up for the truth? Can you stand up? Stand up for the truth. Truth of gospel. Truth for the gospel. Truth of Jesus. Dear Heavenly Father, we stand up for Jesus. Lord, in the last day, so wicked generation, people, they are more wicked. The love grow cold, and people more, uh, more, more dangerous, more serious, more hated, more anger. But Lord, help us, protect us from evil one, deliver us from all the darkness. Lord, we know that what is evil, what is good. We don't want to belong to the wicked uh, area anymore. We follow Jesus. Help us. We stand up for Jesus. Protect us. We love our enemy and pray for persecutor. We know that not through the scriptures that wicked will cut off soon. Lord, we just trust in you. And for us, we trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Keep on praying for the mission to India next month. And keep on praying for Pastor Tim's uh, funeral service. Pastor Tim, my friend, he died last Saturday. And pray for his wife, Sangi. Thank you. God bless you.